Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between FC Barcelona and Real Sociedad. So Barcelona is going to be playing at the Camp Nou. We are going to be at home, so we do have a great advantage when we do start this game. But here's the one thing to point out about this match. It's going to be a very tough test for FC Barcelona because when we are talking about Real Sociedad, this is a team that's currently in first place within the league table this is not going to be an easy match and looking at their stats we can see that Sociedad is also a team that have not lost not once within La Liga and now seeing that Barcelona are finally going to meet the first place team for La Liga one of their goals is going to be to give Real Sociedad their first loss and that's going to be extremely hard but if there was one team that can do that it would be FC Barcelona but Barcelona do have to be in their best condition in order to get a great result from a team who has not lost not once within La Liga yet. But before we do go forward into this video, I do want to talk about one topic that has been circling around Barcelona lately and it, and it has something to do with Lionel Messi. I want to clarify some things because there has been a lot of news going on between Messi and PSG. Ever since that draw between Barcelona and PSG, that is when the reports did come out on Messi Messi potentially moving to a club like PSG because let me tell you by January 2021 Messi will be able to leave for a very minimal fee and so for us Barcelona fans that makes us very nervous we don't know what's going to happen next and we're going to continue to ask what's going to happen next for the next month until January 24th but there are some things that have been clarified on what we should expect for the next 25 to 30 days and it says here according to Ruben Uria Messi is not in talks with any other club and neither has any presidential candidate made contacts with him. Messi is for his part is only focusing on the season. He is in no rush to decide his future at the moment. And that is the right thing to do, right? There is no reason for you to put all of your energy and all of your focus towards any type of transfer, any type of reason to leave FC Barcelona. Because right now there is goals that need to be met within this season. And it is two things. Barcelona do have to reach the top four. There is no excuses for Barcelona not to be in that top four. It is absolutely necessary. The second goal is going to be to get a great UCL result. There's also no reason for Barcelona to exit in the round of 16 and give all of our focus towards the rest of this season. But here's the thing. I do think that many things are going to be changing. I do think that we are going to see other reports saying the complete opposite of Messi talking to clubs or Messi talking to a presidential candidate by the time we do hit January 24th. Because on January 24th, that whoever does win one of the first few things they are going to do is speak with Lionel Messi but as of now that is where we do stand today regarding Messi and him potentially moving or negotiating with another club now going back into the pre-match preview I want to talk about Real Sociedad for a second right there has to be a discussion for us to understand where this team is at and I do want to point out two things regarding this team if we look at this image here right we can see that there is a trend going on within this team right now in the beginning of this season Real Sociedad that we're winning almost every game but looking at their past six games we can see here that Real Sociedad have a very hard time winning games now they have tied six times in a row in the past two or three weeks and that also means that they have lost six points in a total of three matches so now there is this question did Real Sociedad stall within this season are we currently going to see them stall and then decline later in this season that could be a possibility which is now going to lead me towards point number two even though we are seeing Sociedad getting worse results than they have been getting about three to four weeks ago defensively they are still very very disciplined because going back to this picture here right we can see that that when it comes to La Liga they usually never allow more than one goal in a game and that is really telling us a lot on where defensively they are at but offensively it's starting to look like they are lacking solutions and we do have two reports regarding Real Sociedad's players one of them is David C and it says here that David Silva is out for the game against Barcelona tomorrow. We also have Miquel Oyarzabal, where they have stated that he is on the list, but he won't be playing at the Camp Nou, which basically means that even though he is going to be on the list, he is not going to be 100% fit. And keep in mind, Miquel is a player that is the top scorer for this team. And the fact that they're not going to be having these two players, that is going to be a very big advantage 
for FC Barcelona. And yes, I know that Sociedad is a team that also that is also currently suffering from injuries because of a very hectic schedule, which is now going to lead us towards FC Barcelona. Now knowing Sociedad's condition, knowing the type of game they play, one of the biggest responses Barcelona do need to show in this game at the Camp Nou is that their attack has to be pinpoint accurate. Everything has to go right if we do want to get through a very disciplined defense. And it is unfortunate that Barcelona they are missing a few key players. We don't have the best attack right now. Ansu Fati is injured, Dembele is injured, and Ronald Koeman did speak on those two players in the pre-match press conference. And he said this, starting with Ansu Fati first, with these type of injuries, it is difficult to know when you can return. I hope he's there when these games are played, but we don't have to risk him and more so when he is of the age he is. Then moving on to Dembele, and he said this, Dembele is training individually. He is not yet part of the group, nor will I want to give him his return date hopefully soon because he's a player we do need which is great to hear we know now that Ronald Koeman is very well aware of the loss that he does have in this team I can bet you that Ronald Koeman right now is currently sitting behind that whiteboard and scratching his head thinking about what type of starting 11 should I place against a very disciplined defense like Real Sociedad because keep in mind in the previous match against Levante even though we were there doing very well creatively that clinical finish presence was very much needed within the box and we did not have that and that is going to be a question and a problem Ronald Koeman is going to have to solve in tomorrow's starting 11. He also spoke about Ricky Puj which is very interesting and I'm going to read you guys exactly what he said about this player and I quote there is always some interest from the press because he is a homegrown player and he is not playing much. There are many more players in his situation. The coach decides through training and the player's attitude. So here's the thing. It is true that there are many fans out here who have a lot of interest in Ricky Puj, but there is a very big reason on why they do have that. And that is because Ricky Puj is a player that has already been proven that he could work with FC Barcelona. And the fact that Ricky Puj is struggling to get minutes, knowing that this is a player that can solve so many solutions for this team is very, very annoying for many Barcelona fans. And the fact that Ronald Koeman believes that Ricky Puj is simply just not ready to start in that starting 11 that is a very big problem and so we were expecting Ricky Puj to start against Levante but he did not participate and the fact that we continue to see that Puj is sitting on that bench it is something that's going to have to be discussed later throughout this season and now that we are seeing that we're going to be going up against a team that is very defensively disciplined on the field these are the type of games where we know Ricky Puj is going to be the solution towards teams like this Ricky Puj does thrive under teams who perform very well defensively. So now the big question is this, are we going to see Ricky Puj start in tomorrow's match against Real Sociedad? I'm going to be very honest here. Knowing Ronald Koeman, I don't think that it's going to happen, which is now going to lead me towards our predicted starting 11. And so here's going to be the starting 11 that I believe Ronald Koeman is going to place. We are going to see Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Our defensive line is going to be Jordi Alba, Lenglet, Minguesa, and Serginho Dest as our right back. Our double pivot is going to be De Jong and Pjanic. I was very happy to see how De Jong did perform against Levante and so I do expect him to perform in that way and continue that form against Real Sociedad. As our front four, I do expect to see Antoine Griezmann on the left, Pedri in the middle as a central attacking midfielder, Messi as a right winger, and Martin Brethwaite as our number nine for tomorrow's night's match. I want to point out three things regarding this starting 11. One is going to be about De Jong. I do think that De Jong is going to be massively important in this game. If De Jong can bring out that same performance that he did place against Levante, that is going to be a huge boost for FC Barcelona because if De Jong can move the ball away from dangerous areas, Barcelona is also going to be able to move forward as a collective when they do attack against a very disciplined defense. The second point is Martin Brathwaite. In the previous match, there wasn't really a number nine in the box and I do think that if Martin Brathwaite is on his A game in tomorrow's match, Martin Brathwaite White can do great damage against Real Sociedad. The other player I do want to talk about is Antoine Griezmann. The main reason why I placed Antoine Griezmann as a left winger is because I do think that when Real Sociedad does attack FC Barcelona, Jordi Alba is going to need defensive help and Antoine Griezmann can provide that. So there is going to be some sort of sacrifice for Antoine Griezmann. And the substitutions that I do want to see is going to be Ricky Puj, Carles Elena, and a surprise appearance, which is going to be 
Araujo. I do think that Araujo should come in for Lenglet because I do believe that it's going to be that it is going to be very interesting to see a center back duo of Minguesa and Araujo. We know that Lenglet has not been in his best form, so it would not hurt to see Araujo pair up with a Barcelona B player like Minguesa. So that'll be it for today's Barcelona pre-match preview. My final predicted scoreline for this game is going to be 2-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.